and check it. <laughs> I hadn't looked at the numbers, I just bought the ticket and put it in my go for So I took it out and uh, looked at the ticket. The first thing I spotted was I had the megabit ball number. So, well, good, I'm going to win something. Here, you know? And then I started on the other number, and it was two, four, and the further I went, the more they matched. <laughs> so, after I looked at it for a couple minutes, uh, I turned to my wife, who was, was right there with me, and I said, uh, we won. And she kind of looked at me funny, and I said, no, we won. And uh, then she started giggling. <laughs> and she giggled for about four hours, I think. <laughs> so, uh, we then uh, knew that we'd won, but we didn't know how many other people had won. So we, we spent the rest of the, the night going down on our computer and checking the, the numbers and checking the news to see how many winners there were. And by six o'clock the next morning, we knew that there were three, and we were one of them. So, that's, that's the way it went. We had a little breakfast after that, very little. We weren't too hungry. We were up all night. And uh, the next morning, uh, when we got up, we uh, waited for, for 9 o'clock when the banks opened and uh, went over to our local bank where we got a lockbox and immediately went in to, to place the, the ticket in the lockbox. And there was only like three or four people in there at the time. It was early in the morning, first, first thing. And, and, uh, one of the, the people I know in the bank, as I was walking in the door to, to put this in a lockbox, says, oh, I guess you come over to uh, put your ticket in away. I said, yeah, I want this thing, and I think just say, put it away. Just laughed it off. And she doesn't know until right now that uh, I really had that ticket in there. So uh, we put it in a lockbox and uh, proceeded to uh, call various people to get appointments and, and uh, with legal advice and uh, financial advice, and we've been, I was retired, and it looks like I've got another full-time job, so uh, <laughs> I'm back at work, so that's, that's the story. They had various uh, stories to tell about how they thought it was this person or that person, and people kept asking me if I wanted, and I most of the time would laugh off and say, yeah, sure, I, I, I want it, you know, <laughs> and uh, just let it go at that, you know, and so uh, I've, I've talked to several people around town that, 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 that asked me, and I've answered most of the time truthfully, uh, that yes I did, but they didn't catch it, you know. And now, what are you going to do with the money? Uh, the thing we started doing first, instead of trying to think of things we could spend it on, we've been thinking of ways that we can invest in it, and how we can use it, and, us, and, and we've got some real good financial advisors now, we have a, a real good attorney hired, and, and we're working on the end of it and, and getting ready for the, the transfer. And uh, so that's the first thing we do. And then over the next few months, uh, possibly a year, we're going to start setting up uh, different different things that we can use it for and, and make use of. you got to have a great vacation plan or something. Come on. Could possibly be a vacation in there. But well, we don't know when yet, because like I say, this is a full-time job, it looks like, okay? <laughs> You'd be surprised what all it involves, you know? I don't think we're going to feel sorry for you. No, no, I'm not going to just, you know, I'm just saying it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, a bit of work to, to set this all up.